Um, fine, honey. I'm sorry I didn't get home last night, but I had all this paperwork to do after we brought Chucky in. Forget about him. You were hurt. Why didn't you tell me about I'm this fine. last night? I just took a little cuff on the chin. I didn't want to worry you. Then tell me about it now. You left our picnic for a drug bust. What happened? Um, the bus kind of found me. Excuse me? I had to help Eddie. You know, why didn't I see that coming? Damn it, honey, when are you going to let go of this kid? What are you planning to do? Strip the place bare? <laughs> Lisa, I wasn't gonna steal your precious little end of Oh, come on. I just, I said, put it down. Tom, it is not Eddie's fault. Chucky was Dina's dealer and he was going after him. So Eddie called you? Well, no. His friend Georgia came and found me, and I responded like any other officer of the law would. You followed a drug dealer for the rest of the night. Is that how any other law officer would respond? All right. I admit it. I might have pushed the sting just a bit, but why would I want Eddie to get hurt again? Tom, Eddie saved my life last night. What? Yeah. The sting went south. Chucky knocked me out. He had a gun. I woke up, Eddie was there, Chucky was armed, Eddie had nothing, he was empty-handed, and he got in between and he saved me from taking a bullet. Honey, you wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for Eddie. Yes, I would. I'm a cop. Remember, we've been after Chucky Wells for months, Tom. But you went on another cowboy mission for this Listen, listen, we got kid. a lead, we followed it. All right, but it's not his fault. Look, I know that you have problems with him, I know that. Tom, you really can't blame this on Eddie. What? You want to punch me too, huh? You want to finish the job Chucky started, huh? Go ahead. No, actually, I wanted to thank you for saving my wife's life. Lisa, I told you I was coming back for my things. No, most normal ex-bosses would have shown a little tact and stayed away until I finished. No, no, you see, I prefer to be here. Keep an eye on things. It's better to count the silver before you've gone. Actually, that's gold-plated, but I'm not taking it with me anyway. Nothing but Emmys from now on. I'm in a new business, you know? Yes, I know. I've heard. Really? That, that's odd. I didn't see it in the Argus that I was the new one-third owner of W.O.A.K. Oh, well, you see, it's um, only big news to little people. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, well, then maybe you should consider changing the motto underneath your masthead to only the news Lisa likes to hear. Ah, uh, you'd better not be so cocky. You know, I have already called Kim. I've told her she better watch out for you. She should not turn her back on you. Well, aren't you the little busybody? I think Kim Hughes is capable of watching out for herself, don't you? And working with a talented professional. Well, her son happens to be so much younger than Tom, so I would say as long as you don't try to rob the cradle, maybe she will tolerate you. Right, Tom. Yeah. I forgot that affair we're having. You didn't happen to find my underwear lying oh, around here, stop did you? It. Just cut the crap. Just cut it. That's right, because you can spot a hussy and a homewrecker a mile off. I can spot a liar, too. Well, then how about a paranoid mother who can't butt out, huh? How, how about a person who makes up fantasies about other people, whose own son had to walk out on her because he couldn't even tolerate her anymore? My, can you spot those people? My son will regret the day he ever met you, much less followed you over to W-O-A-K. Oh, right, right. Because he can't spot the homewrecker in me, right? He can't spot the pain that you are going to cause him and his family. Oh, Emma, come on now, wait a minute. Let's, uh, could we have a little time out here for just a minute? Excuse me? Look, eventually, this is going to hurt you too. 
I, I know right now you think that you can just you can just go right ahead and and you've got you're in charge of everything and, and life is going to be just the way you want it but it doesn't work out that way you see i have been in this position just like you and i know from experience it does not work so are we still dealing with my fantasies here your fantasies about me look tom is going to tom is going to find out one of these days that you've lied to him if not even sooner maybe his conscience will work can on can we stop this, this please guilty and, all right i get enough lectures from my own mother and she never seems to get it right either. The bottom line is, you bought me out of my contract, and Tom walked out on you. So now you're all alone, Lisa. So go ahead. Go ahead, keep making up a life for us. You just remember something. It'll always be your own fantasy. Have a great day, Lisa. <laughs>